Welcome to Inside the Film Room. I'm Christian Ergo alongside head men's basketball coach Matt Figure. Coach, your team is coming off playing on the road against a major opponent in Illinois. You take a lead going into half and narrowly miss that big upset. Now that you've watched the film, what stood out to you? Uh, well, the, 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 the end of the first half, we're up five. Um, and I, as a genius of a coach that I am, um, decide we want to go quick two for one. We're up five. We have the ball um, with about 50-some seconds to go in the first half. Uh, well, we get a good shot. It was a, it was a corner three, wide-open shot by uh, Chris Porter Bunton. Unfortunately, it didn't go in, and it lipped off long. They got a rebound. They took it, and they scored. And so instead of being up five, we're up only th or up eight possibly. We're up three, and then we made a bonehead play and turn it over, and they make a free throw. So then we're we're up two at half. Um, but but the takeaways from the game, there was a lot of positives. Felt like um, in the, in less than a month, our team defensively um, has kind of taken on the personality that I wanted to take on. Um, we're still making immature mistakes on the offensive side of the ball, turn it over way too much. Um, we're really getting the ball inside, which is what we want to do. Uh, we just got to make some perimeter jump shots, and that's been kind of the difference. And, and uh, you got to figure out a way to keep Trey Ivory on the floor because when he's on the floor, our team is playing well. Your team is young. You go on the road against a quality opponent. You have a chance to win late. It was 56 to 60 with 19 seconds left in the game. What does that tell you about where you are with this group of guys? I, I, I've been meeting with the, with the kids individually. Um, their commitment to what we're doing, um, they're ahead of where I thought we'd be at. Um, after the, the first two games, obviously, um, playing Vanderbilt on the road in Virginia, and then, you know, fast forward till now and having an opportunity to be right there. And that stuff we practice is those late game situations where you're on the road, you know that road games are hard to win and you have that opportunity to seize the moment. You know, the game was, was probably our crack at it was um, on the sideline out of bounds play that uh, we had that with four seconds on the shot clock. I think it was a, may, may have been a two point lead or something like that for them. Uh, that we didn't convert, and that kind of was the one that kind of got us. But we had chances, um, and uh, you know, give them credit; they 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 defended their home floor and you know came away with the win. But uh, but I think our team is getting better from those games. Avery Ugba is blossoming into an offensive focal point. He was seven out of ten from the field at Illinois. How has his progression helped your team? I I, I think since the UNC Asheville game, he has been. Um, probably our best player uh, consistently in practice uh, from the rebound inside, from the being able to, to know in, in a game you can throw the ball inside. Uh, a lot of teams don't have that luxury of having guys that you can throw the ball to in the paint, you know, they can get you two points. His focus is, 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 is uh, being vocal and, and huddles and on the floor. And, you know, he's a senior, and uh, he realizes that um, he's, his, his hourglass is running out, and so he's doing everything he can do to help the team win. This Saturday, you take on Evansville at the Ford Center. It's also the site for the OVC tournament later on the season. Maybe a chance to get comfortable there, but what can you expect from the Purple Aces? Uh, you know, they're going to run a lot of motion. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, screen-to-screener type things. Um, uh, they're very efficient. Uh, offensively. They don't play uh, exceptionally fast with number of possessions, but the things they do um, is, is they're going to get a lot of guys touches and, and they're going to try to move you around and, and take high, high, high percentage shots and um, uh, you know Coach Simmons is such a big part of Evansville not only as a player but as an assistant and now as the head coach there he's been there for a long time so um, his system and the things that they've done has kind of been been going on since I was uh, coaching uh, at, the, at the junior colleges around there. So uh, I've, I've got a chance to watch a lot of Purple Aces basketball, and they play really efficient offensively. The governor's defense has been relentless this season, averaging 23.6 forced turnovers per game over the past seven games. What's been key in having that success? I just think guys get more comfortable with the system, and you know that was one thing that I. Uh, when I took this job and I told uh, the people here that, that we were going to do it, we we're going we're to um, get after defensively, we're going to force turnovers, we're going to be in the passing lane, 
Um, so far, that's come to fruition, and, and they're doing it at a high rate, which we're top three to five in the country in, in doing so. And, and so, it's a buy-in from the kids. Uh, it's it's a it's all a um, it's them. Uh, it's their commitment. It's uh, the things that they have that I've sold them that they have they have believed in, and. and you know, we have a great opportunity over this next half of the season to continue to get better at that. And uh, I'm excited for my team uh, that, that we're doing some of these things at such a high rate. Evansville shoots nearly 50% from the three. What do you need from the perimeter defenders to combat what they do from the outside? Well, we've got to pressure the ball. Uh, that's the one thing that we've been doing, um, you know, uh, since early in the year. I, I feel like our, our three-point field goal defense has been pretty good. Um, I think on the season team, we're shooting right under, right around 32%. Um, and so we've been able to get out and extend on shooters. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll be practicing a lot of that next couple of days of being in rotations, being in closeouts, um, challenging our guys to get them off the line and shoot long twos instead of th uh, threes. So uh, that'll be a big focus for the next couple of days of practice. All right, best of luck, Coach. Coming up, we'll visit with David Midlick. Stay with us. Welcome back. I'm with head women's basketball coach David Midland. Coach, you took the ladies on the longest win streak in 17 years. Western Illinois got the best of us on Saturday. The governors battled back after getting off to a slow start. Your offense outscored Western Illinois by seven points in the second half with eight governors getting on the score sheet. What are the keys to a balanced offense? Well, I think that started with our point guard, uh, Bree Williams. She's done a really good job, not only in the Western Illinois game, but the previous games of distributing the basketball and finding open teammates and I think the rest of the team is, has also made the extra pass to, to try to get a great shot. You held Western Illinois to four free throw attempts in the second half compared to 18 in the first half. How did you adjust at halftime to keep them off the stripe? Well, our, we talked with our ladies at halftime about we, we made some silly fouls. We fouled 94 feet away from the basket when we were frustrated we missed a shot. We, uh, we kind of reached in uh, sometimes instead of moving our feet. And, to our team's credit, we did a much better job in the second half of staying in front of their players and their drivers and, and therefore you know, that many less free throws in the second half. Keisha Gregory and Fallon Baker have led the team in scoring for the past two games. How instrumental are they to your offense? Uh, very. Playing our, our two off guard positions, we want those positions to be able to score the basketball and, and I think they've uh, not only uh, put up production with points, they've shot it at a, at a good percentage. Keisha right now is over 50% from three this year. I think she's top 20 nationally in three-point field goal percentage. And uh, Fallon is, is in the high 30s with her three-point percentage. So we hope for those two to, to keep it going. You mentioned earlier Brianne Alexander has been a force under the basket, pulling down 15 rebounds in the last two games. How important is she to your team balance? offensively and defensively. Right, I've challenged Brianne this season to be a leader on and off the court and she is a difficult mismatch for other teams because she can have her back to the basket and make some moves. She can also go out from 15 to 17 feet and make that shot and drive to the basket and I think she's been a little bit more active on the boards the past few games. So just like with Fowler and with Keisha, we want her to, to keep up that aggressiveness on the offensive end. You will go on the road to Champaign to take on Illinois. Your team is pretty balanced across the board on offense. Illinois has three players averaging double figures. How do you plan to match up against a team that is equally balanced offensively? Right, just been watching some film on them and uh, just a, a, a good Big Ten basketball team that will present some challenges for us, especially when you try to cut off one or two of their best things, but they have a third and fourth option. So it, it's going to be Team defense will definitely come up with a strategy or two, hopefully, for, for their best two or three players. But uh, it's going to be a team defensive effort, starting with transition defense. You only have one loss on the road this season. What is it about this team that makes them so difficult to beat on the road? Well, that's maturity and some senior leadership. We have a senior point guard. We have three seniors on this team, and Fallon and, and Brianne Alexander and Bree Williams, that when you go on the road, you have to be able to take your defense, but you also have to take care of the basketball. And, and you don't quite play as loose on the road, so you have to be able to, to reverse the basketball two or three times on offense and, and get a shot you want uh, against teams that are going to have a little bit, you know, the best way to say is a little bit more juice at home than, than you would. All right, thanks, Coach. Best of luck. Coming up, we'll talk with Avery Ugba.
Welcome back. I'm with Avery Ugba Ford for the Governors. Let's talk about your journey to Clarksville. You're from Silver Spring, Maryland. Mm -hmm. You're a national champion at Richard Bland College, then Grambling. What led you to come to Austin P? Honestly, I just had a better opportunity and I trust him. I heard Coach Fick's resume and I just want to come here and be a part of that process. Absolutely. Now, this past year, Coach Figger takes over the Govs. He brings a relentless style of defense. When did you start buying into his philosophy? Uh, it was kind of tough at first, but me and Coach Figger had meanings about it, and pretty much I got to trust the process, and everything started falling into place after that. Now, you're part of a young team that's playing well. What do you feel is key in, in getting night-to-night -night consistency from a younger team? Um, honestly, I don't think we have a young team anymore. That's kind of like an excuse. Like, we're like nine or ten games in, and everybody, like Terry Taylor, Day, and Gum, all of them have played a big part or success so far, so I don't really look at that. So what do you hope to do after your collegiate basketball career? Um, hopefully go pro, make some money, take advantage of it while, while I can still can, um, and get, finish my master's over here. Absolutely. Now, what's your major right now? Oh, business and management. All right, all right. Now, you're pretty far from home. You've been a part of three basketball teams. Mm -hmm. You have to stay pretty self-motivated. Who yeah. inspires you? I'm um, kind of like a mama's boy, pretty much my mom. She told me to stay self-disciplined, stay focused, and that's pretty motivate me. Thanks so much. Both men's and women's teams will be on the road this weekend. Follow all the updates and stats on our social media sites at Let's Go P. Thanks so much for watching Inside the Film Room. I'm Kristen Ergel. We'll see you next time.